We're here today at the uh, 2011 Spring ASEG meeting, and I'm here with Dr. Angela Summers, who is going to talk about safe automation. Uh, why don't you tell us about your presentation here, Angela? All right. Well, what we have here is the life cycle of safe automation, represented as the tree of safe automation. We have the low-hanging fruit, which satisfies the grandfather clause of PSM of the hazard analysis and the performance verification. Once we've completed these two steps, we document what's required from the process perspective related to the hazard analysis and the design basis necessary to satisfy that performance. From the performance verification, the design basis, we develop our mechanical integrity plan on what's necessary to maintain the equipment. The hazard analysis that led to the process requirements yields operating procedures on how we cover safe automation and safe operation of the process. The process requirements and the design basis lead us into selecting equipment that we install and maintain according to the mechanical integrity program. Now, as we move through the years, many users adequately satisfy the requirements of the hazard analysis and the performance verification as the low-hanging fruit. The mid-hanging fruit we began working on really hard in the 2000s, and now our primary challenge in the 2010s is our reliability monitoring, ensuring that the equipment we installed are providing the performance we assumed, that we're closing the gaps associated with all of our analysis, and that our key performance indicators are showing us that we're getting things right. Now, uh, Angela, does this uh, concept and the application of, of what you're doing here, does it apply only to uh, process units or production plants? Could it apply to just a single piece of equipment, let's say a, a desalinization RO or, a, or a, you know, a pressure filtration system, or is it more suitable for more complicated processes? No, this actually applies to anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can apply this to things going on in your own home, mm -hmm. how to make sure that you're, you know, deep frying that turkey in the backyard at Thanksgiving safely by doing a hazard analysis and understanding how well uh, you want to control that process to ensure that it's safe, getting the right equipment, the right safety equipment out there should you have a problem, and then measuring that temperature of the turkey to make sure it's satisfactory. You know, so this applies to anything, chemical plants, refineries, terminals, pipelines, and even home things that you're doing. What uh, customer base have you had the most success with? Has it been in the refinery and petrochemical industry, or has it been somewhere else? Predominantly uh, refining petrochemical chemical industry because they are PSM regulated. And so this safe automation life cycle is something that they need to comply with in order to comply with OSHA PSM. But we're seeing that it's being rapidly adapted or forcefully applied to other sectors such as pipelines and terminals. Okay. Is there any way to integrate some of these concepts with the actual control systems itself with a, you know, a Foxborough or an Allen Bradley or a Siemens? Do you work with actual control systems, programmers, and, and components vendors, or is this all a, a human activity that's not, that then gets supplied by the engineers at the company to the actual control systems themselves? This is where I, uh, I guess an area where we have to have a complete integration. Okay. We have to understand how the humans are going to interact with the control systems and with the safety systems and ensure that the procedures and the work processes match those systems requirements. We need to make sure that the equipment supports what the people want the process to do and that the operator understands how to interact with those systems to get the process to make the production they need. So it's definitely procedures and work processes, people and procedures. It's the full triangle that's necessary. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.